everyone and welcome to your tarot love messages if you have clicked on this reading it's because you were led here you were being guided to this reading here it means that there is something here in this reading that is meant for you here it might help you with your current situation it might lend you a new perspective it might restore your faith in love trust to the universe or it might be something that you need to hear you need to be reminded or something that might be reaffirmed to you. I strongly believe that the things that the things and the people that we are drawn to, okay, it's not random, okay, it, it's not by coincidence here. It's because they speak to us or they call to us. So for whatever reason that you're here and that you clicked on this video, it's because you were led here. Um, with that being said here, it is going to be a general reading as well, guys. So please just keep that in mind. Now, I do offer personalized tarot readings, so if you'd like a personal reading, one in which the messages are tailored personally to you in your situation, please feel free to reach out and connect. I will list my email address just below the video here. So, let's go ahead and give the cards a shuffle and let's begin here. So, basically, we just want to know what messages here are coming through for you here. Okay, did you see that? The seven of wands here in reverse here. A lot of you are being invited here to walk the path of least resistance. The world. King of Cups. Page of Wands. Okay, the Empress energy. And the Nine of Wands. You've got a lot of fire here. A lot of fire that has um, a lot of fire energy. And fire is a very passionate, it's a very primal type of energy. I feel like for a lot of you, either right now, the message that I'm getting for you very strongly is to take action, okay? If you want to know who you are, okay, you, you need, instead of asking yourself, you need to take the action here. Because the action that you take is going to define who you are. It's going to define the type of person you're going to attract into your life, the type of circumstances you're going to attract into your life, the type of situations here and the relationships here. Okay? Some of you, I feel like you, you're actually being invited and called upon by the universe to embark on a new journey. But here you are, okay? Here you are with the seven of wands. And some of you, I feel like, are putting up some resistance here or there's some sort of reluctance in your energy, okay? And I get that because change can be scary. It can be overwhelming here. It means you... Something about this means that you'd have to step outside of your comfort zone, okay? Now, we all know no growth happens within the comfort zone um, it happens outside of that comfort zone but obviously outside of your comfort zone is territory that is unfamiliar and unknown to you it's vast and it's expands but you know it, it's unfamiliar here which is why change can be so frightening but you're putting up a lot of resistance okay and right now I feel like with the seven of wands here the fact that it's just flown out like that here you're actually you need to, in order to get to where you need to go, okay, so if you're wanting to manifest and attract a certain person or a certain relationship in your life or a certain set of circumstance or a certain result if you're trying to achieve that, okay, you need to walk a path of re least resistance to get there until you find yourself on the path of no resistance at all. Okay, that's how it starts. That's how your journey starts here. So you're being invited to take action. Whatever action, whatever, you know, form that means for you, whether it's picking up the phone calls, you know, making that phone call, sending that text message, responding to that text message here, um, drawing upon your own closure, you know, seeking closure. Um, it can be, in, okay, it doesn't have to be drastic action. It doesn't have to be anything bold and daring. It can be like an inch of a movement, but you need to take action because, even that inch of movement is going to bring you closer 
to that goal that you're trying to seek and that you're trying to attain here. Okay, so I feel like the tarot guides want you to know, I want you to be reminded here that you are what you do, okay? You aren't what you say you do. You are what you do, not what you say you'll do. Action right now, especially with regards to your present situation, taking action is the absolutely the foundation to your success here. Taking no action means that you stay in this situation. You stay in the situation where you're scared and you're hesitant, you're reluctant and you know you have your doubts and you have your reservations and then you've got your walls up and you know it means that no journey no journey or no relationship might begin for you in this energy field here. You're the future, okay, whether it's a future of your relationship or just, you know, the future of your careers, your goals, your aspirations, absolutely depends on the type of action you take today. And like I said, you have to be aware of, it doesn't mean that you have to take this massive action. It might help for a lot of you, but for some of you, even like an inch of a movement is going to play an absolutely instrumental role here towards achieving that goal here, okay? It's like some of you keep saying, one day I'll do this, or one day this will work for me, okay? You choose one day or day one, okay? You choose which one you, you know, you, you want to sort of lean towards. And you know what, the fact that you've got the world card here tells me that action here is absolutely, it's the universal language here, right? It's the universal language to all success here. Okay, now some of you are very, with the Empress energy, because he can be very traditional and, you know, if there's a, both a positive and a negative to it, he can be very safe in many ways. And some of you, I feel like you're sticking to your comfort zone because it's comfortable, but no growth is going to happen there, okay? The, your ideal partner isn't going to come into your comfort zone, okay? Your, that ideal relationship that you want to manifest, you know, that dream job that you want, those goals or those aspirations that you have, they won't be found in your comfort zone, okay? You're going to have to step outside of your comfort zone in order to get closer to what or whom it is that you want here. Control your thoughts as well, because some of you, I feel like the reason why you're so scared or the reason why, you know, you're so resistant and your energies is so resistant here is that you need to control your thoughts. Because at the end of the day, you know, your thoughts, they have this ripple effect here. Your thoughts, your emotions, everything is so interconnected. So control your thoughts, okay? If you find yourself catching, if you like catch yourself finding thoughts which you know, serve you in a negative way, see if you can catch yourself doing that, and then try and reframe and redirect, reorient your focus and your thoughts here. I feel like nothing is going to happen for you right now if you don't make it happen, okay? If you don't make it happen. And for some of you, maybe your action is your form of action is all about controlling your thoughts, watching, you know, watching very closely where your thoughts go. Maybe that's what your action is. Um, definitely be disciplined with the Empress energy here, okay? Believe here. Be disciplined. Take action. Be in control of your thoughts. Be in control of your emotions here. Be brave, okay? Have confidence. I feel like a lot of you are forgetting that your personal power, okay, your personal power lies in your ability to take action. And here's the thing, some of you feel like you don't have to justify your actions to anyone and you don't even need them validated, but some of you are like, it's almost like you're trying to justify your actions or your next move. Why, why are you doing that? Okay. And don't wait until you're ready, because it's almost like I can hear some of you saying, but I'm not ready, okay? I'm not ready yet. Or, you know, I'm not at the stage of my life where I'm ready to take these actions. Or, you know, one day, you know, next week, next month. 
It's like some of you keep prolonging this. Okay. The thing is, with some of you, if you're going to wait until you're ready, I don't think that might happen for a lot of you. And that's the thing. Sometimes people wait until the right time or the right set of circumstances. Um, and it's like they're waiting until the right time, but the right time never really happens. So try and make the timing right for you if you can, you know. Instead of, you know, waiting to be ready, just take action to be ready. I feel like the universe wants to... I feel like the universe wants to send someone new into your life. Okay, or the universe wants to bless you with a new chapter, with a new beginning here. With the new truth. But you have to, you kind of have to reach for it, okay? Just because something is written in the stars for you or it's written in your destiny, you're going to have to work with the universe, work with the universe here, and you're going to have to reach for it, okay? Because that, that's what I'm getting for you here. And you know what? I feel like a lot of you, you honestly, your intentions are in the right place with with your energies right now, with whatever's going on with you right now, your intentions are absolutely in the right place. I feel like at the end of the day, your fee paralyzes you and I feel like your fee is why you're not taking any action right now, but your intentions are in the right place. But you know what? Action always beats intention. So you can have the most purest intention, you know, all you want, but if you take no action to support those intentions, Okay, it may lead to missed opportunities here, to missed regrets here. So nothing is going to change if nothing is going to change here. So I feel like the whole purpose of this spread here is that a lot of you need to... A lot of you need to take the next step here. Take the next step and that next step may bring you closer. Even if it's an inch here, it may bring you closer to whatever or whomever it is that you want here. Because a year from now, okay, a year from now, you're going to wish that you started. You're going to wish that you started, you know, at the time that I'm doing this reading. You're going to wish that, okay, you know, you started whatever, like whatever it is that you're wanting to get started, whether it's starting a new hobby, whether it's starting a new, you know, working on a new goal, a dream job, whether it's working on yourself, um, you know, getting involved with that person or that relationship, whatever it is for you here, okay, because you're all different energies and, you know, you don't all want the same thing here, so whatever it is, so personalize it to your goals and your intentions, um, start now, okay, again, it doesn't have to be any drastic action, it just can be small baby steps here, because if you don't start now, a year from now, you're going to wish. The time is going to pass anyway. And excuses are absolutely the thief of time here. So if you start now, you're going to be that much closer. Alright guys, and these are your messages. Thank you for listening and watching. Please feel free to reach out if you're after personal tarot reading. And please don't hesitate to reach out for, um, yeah, for any... Um, personal reading otherwise guys i do want to wish you all the very best here with whatever it is that you have going on right now okay all right guys bye for now